It was post-World War II, and America was in the midst of the Cold War and a battle for scientific achievement. Young Warren Washington was on a journey to discover his own life path. I didn't really start out being someone who was going to be you know, working on climate models. In my senior year of high school, I started reading autobiographies of scientists, and especially the George Washington Carver story because he had to struggle through a lot of adversity to get his education. So I got the picture that I could do it. Washington was only the second African-American to earn a doctorate in atmospheric sciences. When I got started, which was in the early 60s, I was starting to put together models of the atmosphere by itself. And the idea was, can we use these models to forecast on the weather for just a few days in advance? He advanced his ideas on climate modeling at the newly formed National Center for Atmospheric Research in the era when computer modeling was also taking flight. And over time, we developed it further and we were able to verify that it was doing a reasonable simulation of the seasonal climate and many of the regional features of the world's climate. We were able to increase the greenhouse gases in our models and show that the climate system indeed does warm up. While Washington has been active in advising the nation on climate change and science policy, he continues to refine his models for new factors as glacial melting increases and sea levels rise. The observational evidence mounts and our understanding of how the climate system works. We're going to have to face up to something that's going to affect our children and grandchildren. And I think what really wins out over time is that the science will speak for itself. <laughs>